Hello. So I've started filming a little bit late today because a few things have happened, which are very typical in a van. Basically, I went to make my coffee and I'll show you the remains of the mug. Basically, I went to make it, opened the cupboard and it came flying out at me. It's my favourite mug. It's my little auntie one that my nephew gave me. So that happened. I'm still making the coffee because after that I opened the curtains. Oh my God, it started to snow. So we're outside. I can show you now. Lou, Lou's out here still. It's snowing. Are you impressed? Yeah. I'm pleased. We never get snow where we are normally, so... We may be stuck here for a few days, but we've got enough food, so... So this is the cup I'm using now because my one broke. This spot is in the Black Mountains in Brecon Beacons National Park and it's so beautiful. There were a lot of spaces and it was quiet. It's probably because of the time of year. I imagine it gets very busy in the summer, but it's completely free to park. There's plenty of walks around. So yeah, it's a really, really nice spot. I've added this extra clip here from my phone because I just feel like the DJI was not like showing the snow at all and i promise it was actually snowing quite heavy but then it did stop so it was meant to be sunny today so i thought i'd planned well but we don't mind so yeah this is where we stayed last night pretty much had the place oh there he is pretty much had the place to ourselves most of the night there was a couple of cars like maybe like nine ten o'clock but then everyone kind of went and it was just nice and quiet peaceful the only thing i could hear this morning when i woke up was sheep's barn did you hear that this morning <laughs> I was just laying in bed actually. I was like, oh, okay, good morning, sheep. <laughs> You'll be better doing a bar. Go on, Lou, bar. I'm not doing a bar. Lou's quite good at impressions. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to grab my coffee now because I came out without it. Here it is. Oh, let's not knock that broken mug over. Let's go have coffee in the snow. We're gonna make some toasties and I swear by my Ridge Monkey, but I've ruined it last week. I'm gonna get a scour and see if it comes off because it doesn't come off of anything I've tried using. Um, yeah, I basically cooked sausages in it and I think all the fat went everywhere. So yeah, but it still works. just want to give a warning here that the outside of the ridge monkeys get so so hot and yeah in case you noticed in this bit of the video i did burn myself and it is not the first time so be careful does anything really be a ham and cheese toasty from the ridge monkey though especially with this kind of view out the window we decided we'd go for a little walk around the quarry and these trousers that I'm wearing, I am so chuffed because they were way too small for me at Christmas. I had them as a Christmas present and now I finally have walking trousers and now they fit me. Very pleased with that. I'm out of breath already. I just sound so unfit on these videos. <laughs> We've gone for a walk. Leave's not very excited because it's raining. I hate it. <laughs> It's not like, but it always rains here, so we may as well go out. The van is back down here. Bits of leftover snow. For hundreds of years, the limestone in this hillside was quarried away in bint and kilns to produce lime. This was used for agricultural fertilizer in the building trade for plaster and mortar, or in many industrial processes such as iron productions. It's what creepy. Ooh, it's just like a hole. Watch out, because they look slippery. What's it look like? I want to see. Ooh. Oh, that is creepy. I feel like people could camp in it. Oh my god, yeah, I could see the water. Someone just dripped in it. That's mad. 
Do you reckon you'd be able to stand in that if it goes that high up? Oh, the stone one's moving. Yeah, probably. You got it. Do you want to try? <laughs> ah! <laughs> Get in! It's quite creepy. Look at the view. You can make that a little home, couldn't you? And then this would be a view. It'd be a very wet home. Yeah, but maybe you could do something. <laughs> oh, this feels risky. Oh my god. Considering these are walking boots. Aw, look how cute you are. Considering these are walking boots, they don't feel very like. I just bent my ankle. Oh god, are you okay? Which ankle? Oh, and straight in that. Oh, it's, it just goes on forever. <laughs> There's no dry parts. Oh. Back on the path. I don't think I've ever seen a quarry. It must have, it's kind of like a mine. It's not like it's like where they dig it into the mountains and stuff. I just thought I don't know. Yeah. I just thought these were mountains and like hills, and I didn't know it was actual meaning to them. Wow, it looks so cool. Look at that. Let's zoom in a bit. That looks so cool. Feels like some Zelda shit. <laughs> Once quarried from the hillside, the limestone then had to be burnt in a kiln to produce quicklime, which was a very useful but very corrosive and dangerous substance. So for hundreds of years, local farmers from both sides of the mountain would travel to the quarries with their horse and cart in the spring to extract and burn the limestone. They'd then transport the quicklime back to their farms to put to good use. So at least we know we're going the right way. What's does the arrow do just to show you things that are there? Oh wow, that's cool. Oh, okay, the arrow means you have to go up there. Obviously, because there's all stones here. It's weird they haven't put like a gate on the other one. You are? <laughs> I jumped! Your jacket moved the branch. <laughs> These things are just a bit creepy. What's in there? It's just like a. I don't know what it would be. Like a furnace or something? Over time, the production of lime from the quarries grew and grew, and eventually it was exploited on a commercial scale. The quarry closed and production ceased in the 1950s. Just come to the conclusion that conclusion that I don't think I've ever done a hike before. <sighs> How do people do these all the time? I need to get fitter. <sighs> I made it to the top. There's this cool thing at the top. The view's worth it though. Look at this. I'm saying that we're not actually at the top top yet because obviously that's here but we're a bit high up than what the van was how are you feeling Lou? Dying Dying Ooh, so this is where it would come out on top what did you call it? A furnace? Could have been We going further up? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I hope this looks as cool on camera. Ah, oh, look at that. Are you impressed, Lou? Yeah. I don't know if it warrants me feeling like I need new lungs, but. Yeah, it does. Look, there's a bench up there. You're going to be excited for that. I'm going to sleep on it. Okay. 
silhouette. The Black Mountain quarries are a time capsule of a very important aspect of Welsh industrial heritage. As you walk through the site, you're taking a journey through time and walking in the footsteps of many hundreds and thousands of people before you. As you can see, most of the buildings are now in ruins, but it's still super interesting to walk around and kind of get a feel for what it would have been like all them years ago. pretty place we've just realized while well, Lou realized you can see the van can you see Cora is it gonna zoom in ah I don't know if you'll see it on this I'll try and zoom in when I edit it before you judge thinking that that's not far <laughs> it's basically vertical <laughs> and it goes round in circles So this is the part of the video where we could have sponsors, but we don't have sponsors, but I'm going to put one in anyway, just to show people what they're missing. Ah, well, that was a nice walk. Do you know what I could do with? A San Pellegrino Lemonata. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis trying to fund our fuel. There's only so much music I can make. <laughs> so we've got to, you know, what they call it, alternate revenue streams. Not all eggs in one basket. We're at number three. Ooh, and we've got another one with a door. A door? A gate. A gate. It's, it's what got machinery in it. Oh, that's so cool. Go take a closer look. I love the gates, like the little design on it. That is mad. They just like left it here. Do you reckon it just costs too much to take down? Refreshing. This is some proper James Bond evil layer type stuff. Yeah, I feel like it would have been good on Game of Thrones though as well. Do you if I knock on in like a certain pattern it'll open up like a secret entrance uh, like batman's cave or something now wouldn't that be cool batman's cave though it's that henry's waterfalls isn't it we've been there <laughs> well, I mean, died yes that was the waterfall we haven't gone back to yet because of the uh the hill that goes to and from it i saying the one i nearly died you know i nearly died in all of them true but that one was the most Crop circles of snow. See now, boy, back in my day, 
Who's to bring the choir up here? We have the choir all standing in a semicircle by you, and they would belt out hymns and arias, and they would ward off all, all the people trying to invade the land. <laughs> that was brilliant. <laughs> For context, I was just going to film this little area and Lewis came out with that in about a split second. Everyone's got a crazy Welsh man deep down, haven't they? <laughs> I think he's on the right Oh yeah, I think this is the wrong way. I don't think this would have taken two hours. Like if we go back down onto that. Like oh my god, we haven't gone the wrong way. This is it. Mate, that's not going up there. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, surely not. So you can see this path by here. Well, I don't know. I don't want to go all the way up there. Maybe we have gone the wrong way. Let's have a look. That's where I was on about just that. I think I found it. I guess we're here, Lou. Oh, we'll soon find out. Yeah, this feels like it. This way. This way. Just take your time. It is quite a bit. There we go. Cool. This is feeling a bit more like it. A bit safer. Hey, here's the path. Ha! Huh. I feel like this is what I meant when I was like, I haven't been hiking because I feel like everywhere I've walked, there's been like a clear path, isn't there? Like it's always like this way, either stones or like concrete or whatever. Now I feel like I'm just climbing on the side of a hill or a mountain. Don't know why, that's exciting to me though. <laughs> yeah, I feel very patriotic right now. <laughs> the most Welsh activity I've ever done in my life. <laughs> the floor's a bit slanted though, I feel like if you do this just be careful. Bring the right shoes. For once we actually brought the right shoes because a couple of times we've been caught out on our walks where I've just worn like trainers but not like walking shoes so. Oh, I can see the road. Yeah! Look at this snow, lots more snow. It's quite deep. Oh my god, I've got little legs. I thought you were going to sneeze. <laughs> well, I'm weird because I can go and go and go and go. And when you stop, it's weird. Stop, I feel it. It's nice though because you can stop and then look at this beautiful view. there. We're almost there. <laughs> Are you okay? Some drink. We made it to this little pile of rocks. You chuffed you made it to the top? No. Yes you are. You said you were impressed. Number two on the dining list. Number two on the dying list. What the waterfall still worth? No, no, it's just the second time. It's really <laughs> the second time. My hat keeps falling down and then I can't see. But yeah, these are cool little rocks. 
They're probably called something. I'll have a look when I edit the video. We had some snacks and just like some bottles of water whilst we were at the top and just enjoyed the view for a bit. Then we headed back down and this way was kind of like a shortcut and it took us about 20 minutes to get back down to the van. That's so cool. Like ice. There is some water now, it's defrosted. Look at all the rubbish. Why would you throw that in there? What's wrong with people? You know what? A stone. <laughs> Oh my god! It's like frozen solid. I'm gonna put my foot on it. That's got like all my body weight on. <laughs> I don't recommend it, but it was fun. Right. Don't try it now. I tried a corner piece. Don't be silly. <laughs> try a corner piece. Like slide across it. No! That's definitely like, some of it's definitely not frozen. That bit I tried was just because it's on the edge. I knew it wasn't going anywhere and I held your hand. I'm trying to hold my hand and touch that bit. <laughs> ah! <laughs> That's mad, it's like a bit separated from underneath. It's like there's two layers of ice. It's like double glazed windows but ice. Ah, let's walk the rest of the way back. So if you don't want to walk all the way around like we did, and you just want to get to the top, you could just kind of go up this way. Oh, I can go closer, hang on. Let's have a little show you. So, yeah, that's a, a bit mad. And yeah, Liv said it's in Welsh then, like on the back. So basically, by here in 1884, a guy's horse bolted, he came off his car and went underneath the wheel. Should I have looked to see if there are bins? I don't think there's bins here. Yeah, it is. Is there one that side as well? Is that one a bit? Hmm. Doesn't look like I get empty that often though. Back at Cora! Woo! Oh, my hands are set up now, freezing. So tonight we are making steak chili miso ramen. We've never made it before, so we're hoping it comes out nice. So because it's such a small space, it smells amazing in here already, so I'm really excited. So is anything with garlic, you can't go wrong. It's always gonna smell absolutely amazing. I've also got the worst knife in the world. I've lost our chef's knife, so we're actually doing this with a steak knife, which is, don't recommend bit of a nightmare it's just tearing everything it's not like cutting it it's not even a good steak knife to be honest lewis is really weird with like spring onions he prefers the white bit and look how much he just cut off to not like to go in the bin so we are being lazy and not getting the table out we're gonna eat in bed this is how it looks mm. what do you do you like it because you've already tried it. Yeah, I've um, added some chili oil into it as well, which I think might have been a mistake because this is like lava. Too much spice. Thing is, there was already spicy stuff in it as well. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to regret that in a bit now, but. <clears throat> so we've eaten our food. I'm in comfies. You're in comfies. And we're gonna watch some TV. We haven't got like electric, electric, so we've put the tablet by here. So, yes, watching Netflix. What are we watching? You people came out today, it's a new Jonah Hill film. Eddie Murphy's in it. Loads of big actors. 
And you're wearing a bobble hat to bed. I am, yeah, it's cold. <laughs> I've got this, this big thing, and my joggers. It's a bit cold tonight. We have got the fan on though, because obviously we were cooking and it was just kind of like smoky and steam. Because yeah, I burnt the steak. Oh, we don't need to talk about the steak. It was really nice. I really enjoyed the food. Yeah, I put too much chili oil on. My mouth is still on fire. Well, mine was spicy and then Lou added extra spice to his, so I feel like that was a, dis a silly decision. I feel for whatever establishment. <laughs> so it looks like we'll have to find the toilet, maybe. <laughs> but yes, good night. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, sub, please, unless you already are. And then thank you so much.